is a Zempic weight loss drug. Is the injectable safe? Let's check out the science and see. Hi, Dr. Paul Hader, Master Herbalist and Health and Wellness Instructor for 34 years. Let's get the world healthy. If you like what you do, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. I appreciate that. We're heading towards that 100,000 subscriber mark. Follow Zimpic injections for people who are obese. Well, obesity will kill you. There's no doubt about that. We have lots of studies showing that. But do these drugs help? And the answer is yes. But what are the side effects? This is really important. And a lot of people just don't know this. Now, the non-serious side effects are nausea. In a, actually, Dr. Greger did looked at all this, and half the people stopped using, you know, the semaglutinoid uh, drugs because they couldn't take the nausea. About halfway through, they stopped. Bloating and the stomach pain. Some of them were overwhelming, and they had headaches and burping and heartburn and blurred vision, dizziness, and constipation and diarrhea. A lot of people have a huge amount of, of uh, stomach pains and also diarrhea together. Lots of fatigue and severe vomiting and with di diarrhea together. And also tachycardia where your heart's racing like crazy and allergic reactions. And of course, we, you know, they have weight loss and, uh, uh, also, they have loss of appetite, which is what helps people lose weight. More serious, you know, side effects are gallbladder disease, also pancreatitis. If anybody knows anybody who's had pancreatitis, that is excruciating disease. Also, for women, this might be a, a serious side effect, sagging breasts. Uh, they can't fix that, but, you know, I don't know if you want to produce that. Also, there's really lots of different things, Tim. Gastroparesis, where your stomach doesn't empty correctly. Uh, Non-aortic anterior ischemic optic neuropathy. That means uh, the uh, actual eye is having pain. And, wow, uh, uh, really hard to believe, really terrible. Hypoglycemia, of course, your blood sugar goes down. Kidney disease, there were studies done that said it causes kidney disease, and the other one says it prevents kidney disease. We'll see what happens with that. Difficulty swallowing. Wow, I wouldn't want to be in that boat for sure. Terrible. Also, thyroid cancer, bowel obstruction, where you can't pass anything. There is an obstruction in your in your gut. And you can't pass the uh, feces. Also, uh, one of the biggest ones was edema, swelling around your whole body or in certain areas, your lips and ears and different things. There was a big study done in the, uh, the UK, I think it was, and also in uh, Europe. And it showed it did cause suicidal thoughts. There's no doubt about that. But when we came over here, you know, on the... We did our own studies, of course, and it didn't show anything in the way of suicidal thoughts. Who would have thought that would have happened? Uh, I believe if you're already depressed or you have some, you know, possible suicidal thoughts going on already, you don't want to use it. Even on WebMD, they said, they said, this comes with a lot of serious side effects and you really need to talk to your doctor, you know, as to whether it's worth it or not. Weight gain after, you know, you get the effects, you actually uh, lose the weight. But now what? Did you learn to eat right and keep the weight off? No. You're still eating the hamburgers, the french fries, the pizza, and all the stuff. And the weight comes back for people. Also, I do not recommend it for those who are, you know, pregnant, nursing, or uh any anybody that might get pregnant also that is i wouldn't i wouldn't risk it for sure well it's kind of up to you obesity is an epidemic and but does it really teach you to change your life start exercising start eating right 
uh, and actually keep it off long term? No. You may get the weight off, but are you still at risk for a lot of these other diseases? I feel you still are. So I believe that a whole foods plant-based diet with teaching people to eat right and you can have the burgers and fries and, you know, but get in the fruits, the vegetables, the grains, the beans and the greens and you can really feel good and you can lose the weight and really change your life and live to be much older than you thought you would. And uh, in the average obese person is not going to live on the average to see 70 for sure, probably mid 60s. But yeah, uh, with eating a whole foods plant-based diet, we can add 13 to 20 years to your life. Well, there you go. The side effects of Ozempic, it works. There's no doubt about it. The side effects are there. You will have to make a decision. I can't make that for you. Personally, I would not do it no matter what. Some of these are nasty. I do not like throwing up no matter what. I think it's one of the worst things in, in life. Uh, and this is going to happen, there's for sure. But you have to decide and make a decision and work with your doctor and things will change. If you have something going on, give me a call at 831-869-9119. 831-869-9119. I've had people who weigh 300 pounds and dropped all their weight and now are extremely healthy. But it just takes a little persistence. I had a lady with very high 200 and something over 113 blood pressure just about three weeks ago, and now her blood pressure is a little under normal, and she's good, she's great, and but she says, I'm going to get healthy, I'm going to live a long life. 831-869-9119. So remember God, remember I love you. I remember when I was going to, uh, commuting to college, and it was a very foggy California morning and I was going to have to be there at seven in the morning and you know I had to get there at the same time you're trying to you know be careful all of a sudden in the middle of the road here's this 18 wheeler stop no lights no nothing and right in front of me I slammed on the brakes I just said God help me my guardian angels help me and all of a sudden I started sliding and I slid around the uh, the 18 wheeler ended up in front of the 18 wheeler and I stopped there the, the skid marks are all the way past the 18 wheeler and I opened the truck door I was I was driving a Ford F150 truck at the time and I opened the door got out I almost couldn't stand I was just shaking so much. And I just said, thank you, God. Thank you, guardian angel, because I wouldn't be here otherwise. And I've had those type of experiences happen over and over and over again. God and your guardian angel is watching over you. I love you.